सो हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू आवर चैनल इंट्रो मैक एंड हियर वी डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट्स सो गाइस वी हैव स्टार्टेड आवर न्यू सीरीज व्हिच इज बेस्ड ऑन द फिक्सचर डिजाइनिंग हाउ वी कैन डिजाइन द फिक्सचर व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट पैरामीटर्स इन्वॉल्वड इन दैट सो इन आवर प्रीवियस सेशंस वी हैव सीन रिगार्डिंग द क्लैंपिंग डिवाइसेस द डिफरेंट मैकेनिकल क्लैंपिंग डिवाइसेस एंड देन द पावर क्लैंपिंग डिवाइसेस इन व्हिच वी हैव सीन द स्विंग क्लैंप्स now in today's session we will see some pneumatic or hydraulic cylinder clamps and please do watch the video until end and subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get the updates regarding the channel so without wasting time let's get started so we will see some cylinder clamps so essentially these are the clamps you can see this is the mechanical clamp we have seen this is the mechanical toggle clamp and what we have done we have just modified this with the help of the cylinder so that it will give some automation and also will give some additional holding capacity right so we can have different arrangements in this and you could see the different arrangements so let's see this is essentially a uh, cylinder clamp you can see the movement of the piston is causing the action of this swing clamp this is the swing arm of the this toggle clamp you can say and it is applying the force on the jaw which is getting clamped right so these are the cylinder clamps so let's see now what are the different cylinder clamps misumi offers huge variety of products over here so you can see the different kind of products now let's check out uh, for the pneumatic clamps just type the pneumatic clamp and you can see the different uh, say categories over here hold down pneumatic clamp uh, the different actions over there you can just select the hold down pneumatic clamp over here and you can get the shape then tightening force how much force it is giving the material arm length and many other things so based on that you can just uh, select uh, the direct module and you can just apply that in your fixture right so this is the uh, hold down clamp right and uh, you can select that hold down clamp then we have destaco now destaco offers huge variety of clamping solutions right we have the manual clamps and the pneumatic clamps hydraulic clamps right so let's check out some pneumatic clamps over here and in the pneumatic clamps now what we have this huge variety of products right now you can see uh, the pneumatic power clamps over here so let's check out the different kind of pneumatic toggle clamps over here with the cylinder so let's check out some series over here right so you will get different configurations so according to your requirement you can select this is the light duty pneumatic clamp so according to the holding force they have categorized right these are the pneumatic power clamps and the series are given then their mechanisms are different these are the enclosed miniature power clamps so according to your requirement you can just select your clamp right now let's see uh, some of the power clamps right so the catalog is getting loaded over here it will take some time so these are the pneumatic power clamps and we can have uh, the features over here can you, we can configure the cad and we can have always just we can configure it according to our requirement and we can download the part right the bore size arm size uh, then we have the opening angle how much opening and closing angle we require then we have some features over here you, you can read what is the feature and then we have pdf so feature you can see ideal for quick clamping in repetitive production operation so this is the feature of this clamp so if, if you want such kind of action you can select that clamp right now let's check out uh, the catalog of the clamp now uh, you can see this is the catalog and you can see the pneumatic power clamps and you can see the ordering 
so this is the description the this indicates the cylinder size so according to the cylinder size the force will vary right and then we have arm style which arm you want horizontal or vertical right so according to that you can uh, select this is the arm style 01 indicates the horizontal and then the vertical right so you can see the maximum holding torque they have mentioned because that it is it is swinging so they have mentioned the maximum torque over here and the maximum clamping torque they have given right the holding and clamping right so we have seen these things what is the difference between the holding uh, say force and then the clamping force so here we have the maximum holding torque then the maximum clamping torque right so you can go through this catalog and you can see what are the different factors they have mentioned over here right so this is something about the clamping right and you can see the different sizes the forces are getting varied the uh, clamp arm dimensions are different their styles are different so you can directly uh, buy these products right so this is about uh, the clamps right we have seen the power clamps which are like miniature type you can see the angles over here what are the different opening angle closing angle and so many other things you can just read those things right and then let's check out some other types right we have different types then pneumatic right so what else we have over here we will check out some of the other clamps pneumatic toggle clamps right we have seen the toggle clamps which are mechanical now this is the combination of that mechanical toggle clamp with the help of cylinder so this gives some additional force now here you can see the maximum holding capacity right so the maximum holding capacity you could see it's huge like 71 kilo newton so it offers a huge amount of holding capacity so according to the application you have to select the part now here you could see as there is the horizontal action it has given the force in the previous case there is a swing action that's why they have mentioned the torque so you must understand these things also and they have mentioned at how much pressure it can give this much amount of force right so on the basis of the input pressure this force will also vary you can see maximum cylinder pressure is 10 bar right so at that pressure it will give the maximum holding capacity at different pressures it will give the different holding capacity so this thing also you should keep in mind while selecting the holding uh, like while selecting the clamp because how much input pressure you are giving and how much force you want right so this is an important parameter because in the catalog they have mentioned the maximum capacity which is will be given at the maximum pressure right then let's check out uh, some say hydraulic clamps when you require so, say in different applications you might require the hydraulic clamps the hydraulic clamps are like smooth operation and you can get huge amount of forces over there because the hydraulic oil pressure can vary up to 300 bar or 400 bar also right while pneumatics we have a limitation up to say 10 bar or 12 bar we cannot go beyond that right so that is some kind of limitation uh, so let's check out some hydraulic clamps over here let's check out the pdf so you can see the started clamping force is like 5 kN at 100 bar oil pressure so this is the started uh, the started clamping force so you can get more force uh, in this hydraulic clamps so you should select the clamp according to the application now let's check out its uh, catalog and uh, what data they have mentioned so here you can see the technical features the uh, options available in this right you can read the three different sizes are there uh, then clamping lever has movable position and you can read all the technical features over here so you can see the three different options and clamping force at 100 bar they have given the clamping force at 100 uh, bar so you must keep in mind this is the force at 100 bar you can maximize the pressure up to 350 bar so that you can get the maximum uh, 
force you can see this is the graph operating pressure and the clamping force so according to your pressure you can get different clamping force over here so you must read this graph carefully and then you should select your part so catalog reading is very important in any case right so uh, this is uh, about the pneumatic this is all about the cylinder clamps right in all these cases we have some cylinder and the operating fluid might be say oil, oil or it can be say pneumatic that means the air so it depends on your requirement how much holding capacity you want and what is the requirement how much space you have how much cost you can bear so based on all these parameters you should select the clamp right so guys this is it for the today's session i hope you got some idea regarding these clamps and if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section and we can discuss over there so until then keep intro making and we will meet in the next session thank you for the patient listening thank you